Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to Feedback. We have a special Valentine's program for you tonight on Feedback. As I said, welcome to Feedback tonight. I'm Mark Despotakis. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Maybe you're uh, getting ready to go out for Valentine's tonight, or maybe you've already gone out. Well, whatever the case, uh, we have a special Valentine's program for you tonight. I've uh, bu been busy on the phone this week doing some phone interviews. Um, and in the first segment, we're going to talk, well, this is kind of Valentine's related, going on a diet. We're going to be seeing with Adita K, the author of this book, The Skinny Pill. Um, she's going to tell us, you know, maybe how to get rid of those love handles you have. Say that's Valentine's related. And then it, coming up later in the show, we're going to, you know, talk about how you can find love and make it last forever with Judith Love Cohen and David A. Katz, this author of his book, Lessons in Love. It's very interesting how the book is written. We will be talking about that. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we are going to speak with Adita Kay, the author of The Skinny Pill. Stay with us. We'll be back after this. you've got a much better chance of getting picked for a cool job with great pay if you take algebra, geometry, and calculus. You need to know how math can improve your future. Demand it. Call NACME. We'll tell you. Hey, kid. My friend wants to know if that girl will go out with him. Pass it down. Hey, Grandma, has to go along to you if she wants to go out with this loner. The young man wants to know if the girl over there is a donor. Somebody wants to know if you're an organ and tissue donor. Yes. Hey, me too. <laughs> Are you a donor? Make sure your family knows your decision so there's no question later. Feedback starts now. And I said, you know, it wouldn't a better name for a movie to come out now, and I think I'm going to make the movie or write the book. It would be a great book to have. And you can uh, call uh, to get her book. Um, you can also find it online. Well, and I have a feeling I'm going to be rather opinionated. People I know, so. Well, it's absolutely about scheduling. Um, why, is it, why is it that students have such a problem here? With? Tune into Feedback with Mark Despotakis every Tuesday and Wednesday night, beginning at 7.30 p.m. We're totally out of time. No time to talk to you. We'll see you tomorrow. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant. The Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant is located at 540 Main Street in Clarion and offers dining as well as a nightclub. The restaurant and nightclub are open seven days a week for your convenience. Call the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant, 226-8400. Welcome back to Feedback. Uh, so you may be going out for your Valentine's dinner. You may have already uh, gone out. And you might feel guilty about those things that you're eating. You might have felt guilty about a lot of things you ate this past holiday season. Well, in this segment, I'm going to be speaking with the author of this book, The Skinny Pill. Uh, Adita Kay is her name. I had a chance to speak with her earlier in the week about her simple diet plan. Here's my phone interview with her. Take a listen. Well, we're here talking with Adita Kay, author of The Skinny Pill, uh, a new book out. Um, Adia, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. How exciting. Well, let's, Happy Valentine's Day. Well, same to you. <laughs> um, let's start with, you know, what exactly is the skinny pill? What does that mean here? Well, this is, uh, first of all, the skinny pill is two things. It is 
a whole new series of supplements that are out there that can actually start emptying your fat cells in 24 hours. So all those delicious chocolate kisses that you're eating right now, mm-hmm. <laughs> I the uh, we can get rid of those uh, real fast <laughs> by tomorrow, and also the love handles that you're holding on to. <laughs> um, so it's about skinny supplements, and we now know that there are some fabulous new supplements out there that actually empty fat cells almost as fast as you swallow them. I mean, as quickly as an aspirin tablet makes the headache go away, a skinny pill starts to work to make your fat go away. But it's the part two of this is it's about skinny foods. So all the things we've ever known about food, you know, the food pyramid and the food mm-hmm. groups and all that stuff, toss that out that is so old it's obsolete. We now know that there are only two food groups that actually make us skinny, that work with our body to get rid of fat. And the first of these is fiber and the second of these is protein and that's what the program is about so you want to lose up to a pound a day and you know we have so many doctors prescribing this program across the country because it is rapid and safe fat loss you need to do two things you need to take a skinny pill every day and you need to eat skinny foods that's basically it now there's a lot of skeptics out there who talk about uh, the, the idea of taking supplements with food how do you respond to that well, first of all, I think that, you know, that's why I wrote the book. And by the way, you can, you can make your own formula. You can read all about this on, on my website. May I give that? Sure, please. Which is skinnypill.com. First of all, that's why I wrote a book called The Skinny Pill, because I actually identified after four or five years of research, and I'm a nutritionist. I, this is not the only book I've written. This book, by the way, is available in bookstores everywhere. So it's not just like some little thing that I'm, you know, selling only on my website. If it's in any good bookstore around the country. Well, maybe I wrote some a crummy ones too. Right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> there are no crummy bookstores. You're talking to an author, and hey, if you happen to see it in the bookstore, make sure that you get rid of all the other diet books around oh, it. Okay, okay. I will bring do mine that. front and center. I'll do that. <laughs> okay, but the skinny pill. Basically, I wrote it because I wanted people to understand that there are very safe supplements out there. That they're available in their local health food store and that they really do work. But I'm not one of these folks that say, you know, one of these nutritionists who says, you know, go to the mall and just whatever they happen to be selling that day, pop it. You know, no. You've got to understand how these things work. And I identified five supplements that we know now that are safe, effective, readily available, and have a ton of data behind them that actually help your body change its relationship to fat. You know, for most of us, everything we put in our mouth, right, whether it's celery or chocolate cake, seems to end up as fat. Mm -hmm. What these supplements do is they break that cycle. They help our body do what it's supposed to do, and it's supposed to turn food not into fat at all, but it's supposed to turn food into energy. So these supplements do that. And the five, by the way, you don't have to reach for a pencil or a pen. I'll rattle them off now, but they're really all described accurately on the website, which is, again, skinnypill.com. The five are these. The first one is carnitine. Carnitine is an amino acid. It's fabulous. It acts like a kind of a garbage truck for a fat cell. The second one is chromium. Chromium is important because chromium is what keeps lean muscle. You know how mostly when you go on a diet or you used to go on a diet, you would lose fat, water, and lean muscle? You don't want to do that. Chromium is what keeps you, you know, cut. Okay? Okay. Then you've got um, chitosan. Chitosan is very exciting. Think of chitosan as a big sheet of saran wrap that wraps itself around any new fat you might accidentally swallow, and it prevents it from being absorbed. So chitosan is like putting the brakes on. You don't get any fatter once you take it. And then we have something called Citramax, and Citramax actually helps crave those um, hunger pangs and and all those uh, cravings that happen not in your your tummy tummy, you know, in your stomach, in your belly, but in your head. We have a a, a sort of a head tummy uh, that keeps us you know, that's what, that's what puts us into the fridge at 4 o'clock in the morning, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> carving down whatever <laughs> carbs. So uh, Citramax really calms down those cravings. It's also uh, it's mood stabilizing. So if you diet and you kind of get the blues or you feel depressed or whatever, this just wipes that out. You're dieting and, boy, you're real happy mm-hmm. while you're doing it. <laughs> and then the last one is a new player in the fat fight. It's something called uh, Citrus Orantium. 
And citrus orantium, actually, think of it as a kind of a cellular or, electro, or, or kind of a molecular garage door opener for a fat cell. It literally sends a signal to every single fat cell in your body, causing it to open up, just like a balloon opens up when mm. you undo the knot, holding the bottom of it, and out comes the fat and deflates the fat cell. So these five, when you take them individually, are very powerful fat fighters. When you put them all together, you have like some Whopper skinny supplement that is safe and effective and gives you that real boost. It gets you losing fat fast, okay. up to a pound a day. We're, we're running out of time here. But, okay, um, you want to one... talk about skinny food now, real uh, well, fast? Yeah, I want to talk about, actually, I want to talk about people maybe heading out to dinner tonight. Okay. And then when they come home, you know, what, what can we have for dessert, for some type of romantic dessert, but still, that's still good? Well, the one thing you really want to have is a breakfast banana, uh, not a breakfast, I'm sorry, you want to have an evening banana split, because you've got a lot of protein there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a banana, you're going to take two huge scoops of ice cream, you're going to take some chopped fruit. And you're going to heap it up, and you and your sweetie can put a little chocolate sauce on there, and you and your sweetie are going to enjoy an evening banana split together. And that's going to be burning fat off you while you eat. That sounds now, wonderful. To, tomorrow morning, here's a little trip, a little hint. Instead of pouring your usual glass of orange juice, pour that orange juice down the drain, because orange juice is a fat maker, and have an orange instead. All that white stuff that you see, you mm -hmm. know, uh, that holds the juice inside the orange, mm -hmm. that is fiber, and fiber is a fat blocker. So lose the juice and have an orange. Oranges help you to fight fat, block fat, and orange juice helps you to add fat. So basically, you've got your skinny pill every day, you've got your fat-blocking foods that are fiber-rich in the morning, your fat-burning foods, like the proteins we mentioned in the, in the banana split at night, and Together, you've got a very powerful program that will help you to lose fat at the rate of about a pound a day. So basically, you know what? If you can tell time on this program, you can lose fat. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, the website, one more time, is? is skinnypill.com. And we also have a toll-free number for those people who hate the Internet, <laughs> which is 888-7-SKINNY. Seven days to lose seven pounds and get skinny. Adita K, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. Happy Valentine's much. Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Thanks a lot. Thanks. And here is a copy of the book. If you see it in bookstores, you might want to pick it up. Uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're switching gears, moving to another department of the bookstore, Lessons in Love, How a Guide to Making Your Loving Relationship Last a Lifetime. We'll be back after this. by Fox's Pizza Den. Fox's Pizza Den is located on Old Route 66 in Clarion and offers all-day delivery. Phone 226-5555. That's 226-5555. Fox's Pizza Den is open seven days a week for your convenience. Phone 226-5555. Standing out from the crowd is easy when you stop in at Fashion Bug, located in the Clarion Mall. Whether you're looking for junior trendy, girls, or fashion for women, they have it all with many different styles. With our newly expanded shoe and accessory department, you're surely to find that special touch to enhance that new outfit. And if you have a fashion question, our experts are here to help. That's Fashion Bug, located in the Clarion Mall, just off exit 9 of Interstate 80. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m., Sunday from noon till 5. On the big highway of life, there's only one safe place for kids. Backseat, baby. The front seat's not the best to drop out. Baby. Don't want that big old bag to pop up. Backseat, baby. Put that booties in the backseat. Backseat, baby. Have that condition never be out.
Welcome back to Feedback. It is Valentine's Day. Uh, maybe you are spending this Valentine's Day with your sweetheart, someone you uh, are in love with, and then maybe you're spending it with someone who you're, you're looking to be in love with, looking to have a relationship for the rest of your life. Well, stay tuned. This all applies to you. In this segment, uh, you're going to hear an interview I did with the authors of Lessons in Love, Judith Love Cohen and David A. Katz. Uh, it's a vague title, A Guide to Making Your Loving Relationship Last a Lifetime. Take a listen to this. Well, joining us now for uh, Valentine's Day here are the authors of a book, Lessons in Love, A Guide to Making Your Loving Relationship Last a Lifetime. Uh, Judith Love Cohen and David A. Katz. Uh, David actually joined us on the phone first. Uh, David, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, so the book is actually, I was, I was reading some of it. It was not what I was expecting. Uh, it's a, a narrative book. Can you explain maybe the concept of the book first? Simple. Basically, we're trying to inspire people... We were sharing our life, saying we've had a lot of problems in our life over 20 years, and we've been able to resolve it. Our marriage is stronger. You can do it, too. Don't quit. Don't give up. Hang in there. It's a simple message, but I think it's something that needs to be heard. There's a lot of frustra frustrated uh, single people out there so, and divorced people. And how, Well, how have you guys done it? I mean, uh, every relationship, of course, goes through its ups and downs. But how have you guys managed to make it through 20 years of ups and downs? Uh, making it through 20 years of up, ups and downs is basically uh, a com making a commitment that this is the person you have chosen that you're going to work it out. And then you deal with several techniques of communication, which we have in our book. Um, I'll let Judy talk a little bit about the, the writing techniques. She tends to be an expert on that. And um, basically, we've been able to overcome it because... Um, we love each other, and we're able to listen to each other and not be so judgmental about what the problems are and, and give it some time and planning to work it out. Some of the issues that we've had at the beginning of our marriage took, I hate to say this, five, seven, eight, nine, ten years some to resolve. But eventually they get resolved. Our marriage is stronger. And uh, compromise is good, but more important is to know who you are, uh, to, to like who you are, and, and to really reach out to that other person and, and try to be vulnerable and not so judgmental all the time. Try not to make this a power, power struggle. This is a couple. It's a we. How did uh, a lot of people, you know, going out on Valentine's Day this evening, potentially with, you know, Mr. or hopefully Mrs. Wright, how, yeah. do you, how did you guys know that, that you were right for each other and that it was worth sticking it out through all these years? How did we know that it was right for each other? Well, you know... I had a feeling inside. I mean, I can only explain that I feel so comfortable with this woman. I feel, um, I feel so at ease. Uh, and I never had that feeling with anybody else quite like that. And um, so I would say it was, it was an intuition. And um, as, as we talked more and explored more, it only got stronger. That's mm -hmm. the thing. It got stronger and stronger and stronger. So, obviously, I'm, I'm presuming you guys have disagreements about things in life. How do you go about doing it? How do you go about dealing with those disagreements? Well, let me talk. Let me have put Judy on the okay. phone for the disagreements and how we deal with okay. that. Because um, um, she's articulate and we, we do share. We're going to share our time as well. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hello. Hi. You're asking about how we deal with yeah, disagreements? Yeah, we deal with disagreements and, and, and still maintain a strong relationship. Well, I, the, the most important thing for us is we're both very verbal. Mm -hmm. And so if we're standing in the kitchen arguing, neither one of us is listening. <laughs> and, you know, lots of words get said, but it doesn't matter because they go right straight in the air. So we came on the idea of writing. So let's say if we're arguing over, you know, what to do on the weekend... We'll each go and to our separate corners and write a letter about what we want to do and why we want to do it. And then we read each other's letters, respond to them, talk to each other. We found that by writing, first of all, uh, the, the focus of the writing is supposed to be on the I sentences. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do. This is why I want to do it. This is how I feel. So. You're not accusing the other person. You're not talking about what the other person is or isn't doing. So it tends to be more positive. It, it, you know, in looking through the book here, it, it tends to, well, it is actually, I mean, it's just letters from 
that you'll write to him and he'll write to you. Mm-hmm. Now, wh- where did this idea come from? I mean, was this just something that you were doing anyway, and then all of a sudden you, a book manifested? Well, what happened was um, we, we belonged to a marriage encounter group. And uh, as part of that, you do writing letters. And so we had notebooks piled up. Mm-hmm. And then every once in a while, somebody would say that, you know, why don't you have these published? <laughs> so this is because all real. Oh, yeah. This so, is yeah, this, this is our collection for 15 years. We went through and we picked out ones that grouped them together that dealt with uh, similar subjects. But, you know, we could have done three times the volume. Uh-huh. So I, mean, I, I, I tended to pick the ones that were already on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. Uh, so what you've basically done here is taken some things happening in, in everyday life, um, you know, things with your daily routine, with your careers, um, just things that happen in life. And you guys, now, do you exchange the letters with each other after you write them? Yes. Okay, and then you just work out a compromise from there, or...? How well, usually work? what happens is that once we understand how the other person feels, it's a lot easier to come to some mutually beneficial solution. Okay. Like, for instance, uh, David didn't like my cooking. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I spent 20 years cooking. You know? uh-huh. <laughs> but wh- what we worked out was that he does the marketing and he does the cooking now. Okay. So that's such a time saver for me. Mm-hmm that it's uh it was a wonderful gift i consider it and if that's the way he and he uh, yeah and then of course uh he now writes down his recipes and plans things a little bit better than he did before and so it, to me it's a it's a tremendous gift to have him do that and he he liked to control what he ate and you know he was more particular and he had more allergies and things like that so this way, neither of us is frustrated because I never have to set foot in the supermarket again. <laughs> <laughs> that was not exactly my favorite place to live. It seems like a great idea to, to you know, go down and write your feelings and maybe exchange mm-hmm. it with your partner. But in today's high-paced society, who has time to do that? Is there so- something else maybe we can do, or is this, you know, probably the best way to do it? Well, the thing is... Uh, when David and I met each other, uh, I had been divorced twice, and he'd never had a serious relationship. So we went into it with the idea that this is as important as anything else in our life. Mm-hmm. And I mean, if you think about it, whether you're, you know, going after a career and writing resumes and studying companies, or if you're working on your health and you go to the gym and you exercise and you plan your meals, people put time into the things that are important. Right. So we had the idea that, you know, obviously we wanted to do better with each other than we had done in previous relationships. And so we, we, we've always figured that this was worth the time and energy. All right. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the same question of you, and then I'd like to get David back on the phone sure. and ask the same question. What is uh, maybe your w- one best bit of advice to anyone out there to make a relationship work for them? Be honest. Okay. I think that was the biggest thing for us, the fact that when we met, because of where we were, uh, we told the truth about who we were, what we wanted, what we wanted out of life, and so therefore we saved ourselves a lot of time and a lot of grief. Okay. I think when you try to say what, the other, what you think the other person wants to hear, you right. get in trouble. Yeah, that's probably true. Okay, uh, David, well, I yeah, have the same question. Yes. yes. What, what's the one most, the, the thing that... the, the that the we can get out of this. What is your one piece of advice to make a relationship work? Don't quit. Don't when quit. there's a problem, and this is what this is what happens when people go through relationships and, and multiple relationships, they get to that same point. They're having basically that same problem, and they say, "Screw it, I'm out of here." Particularly men. Mm-hmm. Particularly men. I'm talking to you guys out there. <laughs> Don't quit. Walk walk through it. Be gentle. But solve that problem. Hang in there as long as you can, because you need to learn that. It's like a lesson you need to learn, and then you go on to a higher love and a higher uh, commitment. And believe me, your life will change if, dramatically if you can resolve that. Okay. Okay? Uh, where can we get the book? You can get the book at the University Book Center right at your hometown. That's right, right here at Gemmel. That's right. And if you want, if you're just one of those lazy people, you can get it at Amazon.com. Okay, that's fine.
So there you go. There's your lessons in love. You can pick the book uh, here at Gemmel. Uh, we're going to take a break. Be right back to wrap things up. I'm Brandy. How would you like to give hope to millions of the world's children? UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, is saving lives in over 140 countries by providing kids with medicine, clean water, nutrition, and education. With your help, UNICEF can make a huge difference in our world. For more information, call 1-800-FOR-KIDS. Thank you. Welcome back to Feedback. Uh, just real quick to recap here of the books, The Skinny Pill, Adita K. Uh, also, The Skinny Food Clock. Sounds like a pretty good plan. And Lessons in Love, Judith Love Cohen and David A. Katz. This one's even available at Gemmel. This one, I'm sure, is available in a lot of the local bookstores. Thank you for joining us. TV5 News with Carrie LaPoo and Kelly Esno is next. We'll see you back here next week. Have a good week.